Hello people, yeah, welcome to Pro Masterclass. My name is Tola T.A. Alabi. And in today's class, I'm going to be talking to you about um, being conscious about the voices you allow into your life. Um, and you know, I, I, I was taking my kids to school this morning and um, a song was on the radio. And the song, um, the hook of the song kind of goes like under, under, and if you to understand, and it kept on going under, under, and if you to understand. And, and, my, and my kids were, were singing the song, and I turned off the radio. And the kids were like, Dad, why did you turn off? Why did you turn off the radio? And I'll be like, That song, that's our song. And I asked them, What is this guy saying? And they said, uh, He's saying he doesn't understand, he doesn't understand. What, what's going on in his life he's spending so much money on somebody and the person keeps acting up and doesn't understand why that's happening and I said now what part of the song are you singing the most and they're saying I, I, I know fit to understand which means I don't I can't understand and I'm like is that is that really what you want to be telling yourself going to school is that really what you want to be chanting going to school where you need clear understanding where your brain really needs to be in an understanding mode and, and you know something funny happened when i said that my uh, my daughter said daddy i don't understand what you're saying and i said you see exactly that, the, the, the song is already beginning to work out and she laughed but i said it's true i said your brain is it, it's, it's a computer and what you impute what you repeat the brain believes so when when you start out your day saying I know fit to understand. I sing the song, I know fit to understand, I know fit to understand. The guy said it so many times in the song because that was the chorus. Now, I don't know what the rest of the song says, but the part that you repeat the most is the part that your brain registers. And I told my kids, I, I, you can't listen to this song. And in the end, we had a discussion about it in the car and, and they kind of understood and they, and they said, okay, yeah, all right. We get where you're coming from. And I'm like, you, you, you see, when you go to school and, you, and, you, and you, you do not understand what the teacher is teaching, a lot of times because you programmed your mind. And you see, a, a lot of us allow those voices into our lives because we, we, we are not very conscious of the voices we allow into our mind. And we need to be more conscious and more selective about those things. And, um, you know, you can imagine yourself going through a week where you realize during that week that your boyfriend has been cheating on you with your friend, your boss is acting crazy and maybe slash your salary for some funny reason. Um, someone just broke into your house while you went to church or stuff like that and they stole stuff from your house and your neighbors are telling you they never saw anything happen, they didn't hear anything and you're like, you're having a really terrible week. But then you've had crazy things are happening, crazy things are happening on auto replay on your phone. You understand? It's playing, you hear it every morning, you hear it every, every night before you go to bed. And you wonder why crazy things are really happening in your life. And that's because you've programmed your brain to attract certain things. You've programmed your life to attract certain things. You, 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 you kind of wonder why you are feeling a certain way that you do not understand. A lot of times we, we kind of look at other things to blame it on. But it, 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 it's actually the fact that you've opened your, your mind to voices that are not really helping you. And the truth of the matter is that this, this session is not about music. It's not about music. To think of it as being about music is, is just looking at one part of it. There are other voices that compete for your, your attention outside of music. Um, you know, um, I'll give a personal experience. Like, I, I used to drive to work and, and because um, I, I, at that point where I was working was like, 18 kilometers from where I did. So I used to drive to work a, a, a lot. And um, driving to work, I, I, I love listening to the radio. So I feel every morning, I, I thought it was a responsible thing to listen to the news and listen to the newspaper reviews. And, you know, being in Nigeria, I don't know how things are 
in other parts, but I can't, it can't be that different. You know, the newspaper never gives you good news. The newspaper is 98% bad news. And um, then the, you, the other 2% is split between what might be good news and potentially bad news. You understand? So, but 98% is clearly bad news. And um, I used to listen to the newspaper review and it tell us about everything that was going wrong in Nigeria. What the government was doing, what the opposition party was doing, what the economy was going to be like, someone that got kidnapped, a village that got ransacked by terrorists and people were killed, a child that got missing. You know, very terrible news. And I would get to work wound up. I would get to work really tired and angry and, and scared. And I wouldn't be able to walk because I, I, the emotions were so high. Those, those negative emotions of anger, fear, and just burden, and just that, 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 that feeling of being burdened was overwhelming. And I realized it, it would take me like an hour or an hour and a half to shake it off. And that was if I could shake it off the entire day. Do you understand? And that was because I opened my mind a lot to the news. And... I, I kind of made up my mind. This was about um, a couple of years ago, maybe about two, two, three years ago. I stopped listening to the news. I stopped. It felt like an irresponsible thing, but, but it was the best thing I did for my life. And right now when I'm driving to work, I, I, I listen to something different. I listen to something hopeful, something positive, something inspiring. And, and we need to take time out to really guard the voices in our lives. You know, last year, we had the pandemic. You know, that, that, really, that, that took over the whole year last year. It was coronavirus and everywhere you, you watched TV, it was giving you the, you know, the number of cases, people that died, people that were infected, you know. And it was, it was very depressing. And I realized I didn't want to spend my last year, 2020, thinking about coronavirus. I, I knew that it would be a waste of the year. So I told my wife, look, I don't want to know because my wife was even sharing me statistics, you know, and I said, I don't want to know. I don't want to know what the CDC or any agency is doing. I don't want to know. I don't want, I don't want to know. I don't want to know the nitty gritty of these things. And I kind of distracted myself last year. And um, funny enough, my wife found an app called Script. And it was the best thing that happened to me last year script and um it, 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 it's it's an app with audio books and things like that uh, audio books and some some pdf books but it's 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 a it's it's a book app and because i'm not big on reading physical books i was really attracted to audio books and i consumed so many books last year and I, I just kept on listening to script and you know what one amazing thing happened last year I, I read a lot of business books, branding books, how to work with businesses, how to brand businesses, how to position businesses. And you know what? A lot of people say last year was a downtime for them in their business. A lot of businesses closed down. Last year was an amazing time for me. An amazing time for me as a business person. It was incredible. I made money last year. I got new clients last year. It was incredible. I got to consult for someone for the first time, for a company, consult to reposition the business for the first time. I met amazing clients. It wasn't a downtime. I didn't, I didn't close down shop. And that's because I positioned myself differently. The voices I allowed into my head were voices that gave me hope and didn't make me sit in the house scared and fearful. It was all because of the voices I, I, I allowed through that app script. And for the people that I mentor, I, I, I share with them the script app and I tell them, look, install this thing. You understand? Install this thing. And, and if you're interested in installing the script app, script, you can contact me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp, I, I think I'll leave it in the, um, in the description for this video for those people that are watching via, um, listening via YouTube. If you're listening via my podcast then you might want to go to my youtube channel to just get my whatsapp number i i can send you the script um link for you to get to listen and listen to books and resources that will really help you and it helps me a lot i'm i'm not trying to advertise the app they're not paying me but it has been a lot of help to me so even when i'm driving to to for a meeting with a client i'm listening to a book on script 
And when I get to the client's office, I'm pumped. I'm good to go. And that is what we need to be really, really cognizant of. What are the voices you allow into your life? You really need to think about it. Sometimes the voices are not even voices on the radio or voices from music. Sometimes the voices are voices from people that you live with. Telling you you're not good enough. Telling you you won't amount to anything. Telling you that business will never work. You need to be careful. You need, you need to be able to get resources that you can listen to to cancel those voices. So get headphones and just put them in and listen to it. And it will change your life. It will change your life. I'm a big believer that your life begins to change from your mind and what you allow your mind to feed on. So I want you to remember this going into the week that, look, be careful and be very cognizant of the voices that you allow, that you allow into your life, into your head. Be careful of those things that you put on auto replay. You see, of those songs. You see, the whole song might make a lot of sense, but in the end, you are reading or, 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 or you are replaying the chorus that, that in itself has a negative connotation. And that's what your brain picks up on. So it doesn't matter how positive what you are reading is. You could, you could be reading the Bible and all you focus on is the word kill and this killed and this killed and this killed and Pharaoh killed all the children and pharaoh killed all the children look i'm reading the bible but if i focus all i focus on is pharaoh killed all the children then the bible itself becomes a source of negative auto replay in my head you understand so so so, so, be, so, so be very very careful about what you allow um the voices you allow either by entertainment or information of the news or by just relationships that are not very productive for you as a person.